running above average along much of the Wasatch Front this morning, as cold as it might feel when you step out the door. Salt Lake, we're just below freezing where it's 31. It's 27 right now in Park City, but uh, some of the temperatures in uh, northeast Utah are starting out in the teens, barely above that in Green River at 20, a little bit above freezing in St. George at 33. But as cold as it is, a cloud cover gave us some insulation overnight, and a lot of these readings are running higher than they were yesterday morning. Uh, the clouds, which are most extensive over southern Utah, are going to be thinning out quite a bit heading into the afternoon. We've got some snow that's coming down in the far north, though, so keep that in mind. Uh, when you head out the door. We've got uh, some of that uh, in Cache Valley extending over toward Bear Lake. We've also had some of that coming down in eastern Box Elder County. Any accumulation would be very light on the valley floor, but with it as cold as it is, that would make it slick out there. We could get a trace to two inches in the mountains. It's just a weak system that's brushing by. Otherwise, we've got a westerly flow today. There's a weather system that will be dropping into the Pacific Northwest and tomorrow moving south through Nevada as it brushes by. It might enhance some of the canyon winds, but it's a dry storm. We're not expecting any precipitation out of it. It'll stall out in Arizona by Wednesday and hover there through much of the week, uh, keeping it cool and dry across Utah. Temperature in Salt Lake City today will be 44, running a little bit above average for this time of year. So again, uh, a mild afternoon after a cold start, uh, we get the rain and snow showers that will be very light in the far north along the Idaho border, mostly cloudy there, but otherwise becoming mostly sunny across much of the state today. St. George, you'll climb into the low 60s. You'll drop to 57 tomorrow, uh, hover in the mid 50s for most of the week and then make it back near 60 by the weekend with morning temperatures hovering near freezing. And it looks like you'll hang on to the sunshine pretty quiet for the next several days and that'll be the case in the north as well. In fact, partly cloudy near 40 tomorrow and just press the pause button. We're expecting more of the same through the rest of the work week and then as high pressure builds this weekend, temperature climbs back into the mid 40s, but those morning temperatures will continue to drop into the mid to upper 20s.